All right, sorry. Hi, everybody. I'm back. We're back to good old Civ, Civ Five. So last we left off, we were in the middle of a war with the Persians as the English. And as you can see, we were completely victorious. They are donezo. So, Look at how chunky we are now. And I also did a few things after after I signed off. I made peace with Mombasa, Monaco. Uh, I think Wellington was... No, Wellington was with uh, Persia. Or, sorry, Carthage. <laughs> so we, we made peace with them because I, I, I could go in and just kick their shit in but it's like no <clears throat> you know they, they picked their own horse but I ain't gonna punish them for it so um so we have a we have a nice big media empire now and we can now focus our attention towards uh Carthage proper of course the problem with them is that actually they have a lot of allies Oh, are these guys allies? Let's make peace with these guys, too. I didn't even know Brussels was with Persia. That's a long way away. Somehow they got <clears throat> cozy with Persia. Anyway. Yeah, they have some... There's an ally here. Yeah. I'm wondering if I should bribe them before I go to war with Carthage. That might be a good idea. Because while city-states are nowhere near as strong as an actual civilization, they can be uh, a minor annoyance or could be even a serious hindrance to taking out another empire. So let's, um, let's try to be nice to Wellington. I always have some delegates. Wow, she has a lot of delegates. That's a problem. That's um, that's a problem. Well, let's repeal that. Even though Persia's technically gone, I guess their their uh, <laughs> their bill they try to pass or their their enacting, I think it exists for one more turn before they go completely away. <clears throat> I am concerned now that uh, Dido has a lot of uh, diplomatic power. So that could tilt things against us because diplomatic mission, because that could end up costing us. Uh oh. I guess she didn't like us going to war with Persia, now did she? Probably not. <laughs> she probably wasn't too happy about that because now she knows that um, <clears throat> she's the next target. I mean, she didn't. She didn't declare war on me yet. She's only uh, denounced me, but that usually leads to war eventually. So, whatever. She can denounce me all she wants. Ah, now she has fourteen delegates. Damn. We don't like that. Well, she's already angry at us. Yeah, she's not as. Not as friendly towards us as she was at the beginning. <laughs> Not really. But we'll have more stability in our conquered realms pretty soon, so that's that's okay. Actually, we're going to have a crap ton of gold, too, so that's always a bonus. So yeah, we got full exploration and liberty. Um, probably go rationalism actually we should do a autocracy thing um, let's see local apps for every barracks yeah we should do that because that will give us huge happiness boost which we need because our empire has gotten quite large so probably a good idea that we keep everyone happy happy people Though, 
I won't be surprised if she's preparing to go to war with us. I mean, if she was smart, I probably would be doing the same. If I, like, if I was at her end anyway. I mean, I know I'm going to go to war with her. There's no question in that. It's just a matter of when. And that answer might be very, very, very soon. She'll probably see me building up my border, though, and be like, uh, no, I'm going to not let you do that. And again, don't blame her. But well, Parsa Grade, you did not develop at all here. Good lord, what have you been doing this time, Persia? Thought you were a much better nation. Well, yeah, I mean, geez. You guys don't even have a library? Like, what the hell have you been up to? Like, I was a little concerned, but man, now I know why I conquered you so damn easy. Because you were just not doing anything. You were just being a bunch of layabouts. I mean, man. If you ain't, ain't going to show up to play, then don't, don't play. <laughs> like, don't even bother. Man, we still got a long bowman here, even. That's funny. Oh, we still have knights in 1942 AD. Hey, it makes sense to me. About as much sense as everything, anything else in civilization. Uh, let's see, stock exchange. Yeah, let's just bump up our money. Actually, we could use a missionary so we can spread our religion to uh, the Persian conquered territories, the former. Persian conquer territories, I should say. And I'll try to get my money up and running too. Oh, cool, a great engineer. What are we building here? Military base. 